God started our uh, started a massive movement. Now, I personally think that it's being funded by the nuclear industry, which is trying to position itself as the, the only green energy there is. But uh, there is a massive NIMBY movement. But then there are all kinds of reasons why windmills are there. On site, they kill birds, they kill bats, and the electromagnetic radiation causes health problems. I mean, all these things are being thrown up. And then uh, we, in British Columbia, started a massive program of run of the river projects. And these are small projects that are supposed to allow fish movement without disrupting the, uh, the movement of uh, the, 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 the rivers and streams. And there's a huge anti-run of river uh, movement now. A lot of it, I think, is justified. But I, I keep saying, look, there is green energy, but you don't just say green energy and damn the environment that we're trying to protect. There's plenty of wind there. We just have to look at all the wind maps and then position them where there aren't animal migrations or, or fish migrations, and, and we've got to position them properly. And um, you don't just build every single run of river uh, opportunity. There are over 8,000 rivers and, and streams with uh, run of river uh, possibilities. Well, then let's start selecting them and, and rigidly uh, determining their environmental uh, impact. But there are those, and Bill McKibben is one of those that came out and said, these damn people saying we need to have environmental assessments. Don't you realize how urgent it is to get green energy on? Let's put it on. Now, I then wrote an article saying this, this is crazy, and Bill wrote back and said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have written that. But uh, there has been a, a, a split, which is being exploited by all kinds of people. If I could just get one quick comment. Um, we're hosting a permaculture and design cert certification course here, and before I knew you were to arrive in our city, we used a quote from you uh, stating that permaculturists are doing some of the most important work uh, around the world. And I just wanted you to comment, since you've traveled and met a number of people, some of the most um, insightful things that you saw permaculturists do. <laughs> what I try to do whenever I can, when people ask me, and I'm, I re receive thousands of requests every year, is just say, look, I can't get involved in this issue. I get asked for help, read a book, and, and I just say, look, if you can use this, use it. But then don't bug me. <laughs> I've given you a quote, don't bug me. <laughs> Thank you for being a One thing that you brought up is the carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere. There are things that we can do on our properties that will contribute to reducing the carbon dioxide. We can manage our grass differently to put carbon into the soil. One of the most productive ways of uh, reducing carbon dioxide. We can produce charcoal for energy, we can produce charcoal and put it in the soil and reduce carbon dioxide. Do you have any? I agree. Listen, I think this is such an incredible opportunity. Yes. That, you know, all this denial and no, 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 is missing out on the fact we need an explosion of new ideas. You know, the one area where I think there's huge potential is in batteries. Our batteries in another 10 years are going to look like Model A Fords. Well, that's all right. Yeah. And, you know, the, in so many areas of this, the charcoal thing, I only learned about that a few months ago. There are all kinds of uh, things, that, you know, hot rocks in Australia, deep down, that, that have potential. There are all kinds of things that we just have to make the commitment to start exploring them and exploiting them. So rather than looking at this as a crisis, I think Obama is right. Green jobs, green technology, that's where the next bubble is going to come from. And that's, that's a win-win situation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the last 10,000 years, we've lost 50% of our force around the world. Human action. At the same time, I haven't been able to find figures of the amount of grasslands that have been lost. But the grasslands, the American prairies, with the buffalo, was a great ecosystem that held a tremendous amount of carbon in the soil. There's a lot we can do very quickly to 
reduce the carbon. I believe we only have a minimum number of years before the release of CO2 in the northern climate. Well, the methane up there is a fear. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much.